Hi, Raiders. Welcome to Ben 3, Session 11 of our Test Prep Unit. So in narrative writing, there are clues, almost like signposts, to remind the reader of the tone of the text. One kind of clue writers use is transition words. Transition words such as however and despite this let the reader know that the mood of the text has taken a turn or two ideas don't agree with each other. Words like even so show us that a character might be dealing with something difficult, but he or she will press, press on anyways. So today I want to teach you that when writers want their sentences to flow nicely and also give little clues about the tone of the story, they use transitional phrases. Transitional phrases can let the reader know that something has changed, that an example is coming, or that an idea is about to be said again in a different way. So let's practice together. Here are some common transitional phrases. Even so, let alone, later on, despite this, for example, in other words. Let's practice with some of these. Jane and Jack walked out of the classroom door to go to recess. They were excited to get outside and play because they'd been inside forever. It seemed like they had been sitting in their chairs for 10 hours. When they stepped outside the building, they saw wet puddles on the playground. The soccer field had turned into a muddy bog. They decided that they didn't care if they got dirty. They were going to play soccer anyways. So let's take a look at these highlighted sentences. The soccer field had turned into a muddy bog. They decided that they didn't care if they got dirty. They were going to play soccer anyways. What do you think we could use as a transitional phrase to link the highlighted sentences? I'm going to give you about a minute to go ahead and turn and talk. Go ahead. So here's one example. How about if we add the transitional phrase to the second sentence? So it reads like this. Despite this, they decided that they didn't care if they got dirty. They were going to play soccer anyway. Writers, notice how by adding this phrase, we also gave the reader a clue that even though the ground was wet, Jane and Jack still really wanted to play soccer. So much so that they were willing to get dirty do you see how using the right transitional phrase really matters? If we used a phrase like, for example, the sentence wouldn't have made any sense. So let's read the passage again. Jane and Jack walked out of the classroom door to go to recess. They were excited to get outside and play because they'd been inside forever. It seemed like they had been sitting in their chairs for 10 hours. When they stepped outside the building, they saw wet puddles on the playground. The soccer field had turned into a muddy bog. They decided that they didn't care if they got dirty. They were going to play soccer anyways. So let's take a look at these two highlighted sentences. They were excited to get outside and play because they'd been inside forever. It seemed like they had been sitting in their chairs for 10 hours. What do you think we can add as a transitional phrase here? I'll give you another minute. Go ahead, turn and talk. Here's one I thought of. I thought of using the transitional phrase in other words. 
So they were excited to get outside and play because they'd been inside forever. In other words, it seemed like they had been sitting in their chair for 10 hours. So I like that because both sentences kind of say the same thing. It just really elaborates and drives that point home. So now it's time for you to go try it on your own. In your Ben 3 digital notebook, you'll find a selection of questions involving linking sentences with transitional phrases and an, even an opportunity to go back to some of your own writing. So try your best to answer the, these questions using all you know about transitional phrases. If you feel like you're finished early, you can go free write in your stamina notebook or work on any of the bonus or miscellaneous quizzes in your Bend 3 digital notebook. We'll come back in about 15 minutes to share some of the work that you did.
All right, writers, welcome back. We're going to take a few moments now to review together, and I'm really excited to hear some examples where you added transition words. After we're done with that, it's time for more practice. You can go ahead and continue to answer questions in your digital notebook or write in your stamina notebook. Awesome job today, writers.